she get her own tear In my heart, y'all put no fear Fuck you niggas just to be clear I'm tired of all of y'all fake misses Acting like they really fuck with me See you skimming really want my spot You call me bully, but I know you not What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Chanel. We are back with another reaction video. This is kind of a crazy one, y'all. says, they just keep popping up. Dude got all his baby mama drama exposed on TikTok. I hope this, like, this, this is a little fake complication, because one, two, three. I see seven big mamas on here. This can't be real. This got to be a skit. Ain't no way you got seven baby mamas, bro. Ain't no way you got seven baby mamas out here. In a way. In a way. Fellas, if y'all still out here making seven baby mamas, what are you doing? What you doing? I mean, I know what you doing, but come on, bro. Like, come on, it ain't it. All right. So, all right. Let's go ahead and get this video started. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Do that for me. And let's see about this guy's baby mama drama. I mean, they pretty. I give them that. From the thumbnails, they pretty. The Butterfly Kiss Pro by Skull Shaver is one of the girl. No. All right, here we go. Pregnant by her boyfriend. This guy. And wait, 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 wait. Talker got pregnant by her boyfriend. Okay. This guy. And then sadly, about 30 days after the baby was born, the boyfriend allegedly abandons them to move in with his ex-girlfriend. Damn. So Morgan, her, her name's Morgan. Morgan starts making TikToks about her experience. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So she would have do, she with her guy. They, they started a family. And then he leave her to go be with his ex. See? People trust, that's why people trust me messed up, bro. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. A single mother. And her account starts to blow up. Because, you know, she's likable and funny. But she made sure to keep his identity anonymous. Only referring to him as the random man in Atlanta. This baby, she's from a random man in Atlanta. So then one day, her ex, the random man in Atlanta, the real guy, he saw her videos. So then he gets on TikTok to deny he's a deadbeat. Morgan lied so good. Morgan can sell goddamn ice to an Eskimo. And it was there in these videos that he admits to being the father of six kids. That's six kids with six different women. Jesus. So his response videos, they start blowing up. Because now we're in... Hey, look. Listen. 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 I know that the male, males, y'all have y'all's, you know, stigmas on us. You feel me? I know. If we got, if we got a lot of kids, if we got a lot of baby daddies, if our attitudes in a certain way, is it... You know, I understand. It's men out there who don't want to be with women like that. You know, and, and to each his own. I don't give a damn. Because <laughs> whatever you do, that's your thing. But I want to know, what do y'all have to say for men like this? You out here with seven kids. And seven baby mamas and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's men out here like that. That will, you know, that will talk down upon other ones. But... If he take care of all his kids, then, you know, <laughs> if he take care of all of them, I'm just saying, we got six over here. We take care of our kids, though. You know what I'm saying? But that's just, but they all, they're not, we don't got six or seven adults we got to deal with. And that's cool. I can, I cannot imagine his monthly living with six kids. And they all got their own mama. So as you got seven personalities, you got six personalities you got to deal with. You feel what I'm saying? Really twelve, because you got the kid and then the baby mama. So I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine that rotation of having to deal with certain attitudes and stuff like that. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine that. That's a lot. That's a lot to take on, bro. You put yourself in a pickle. <laughs> As they would say, you are the bond, Nate. That's crazy. Drop. And the comments are just not being kind to him. What a loser! Such a deadbeat. Bro, are you allergic to condoms? So then, how do we see? See? They throwing up they throwing all type of insults at this man. We don't even know him. He could take all, you know, take care of all them kids. Well, we know. We don't know. We know about what she's saying. 
where? Guess who decides to suddenly weigh in? I'm baby mama number one, by the way. Yeah, his other baby mamas get on TikTok and they start weighing in one by one. I am baby mama number two. He doesn't call. He hasn't called. He doesn't help with anything. Yeah, and then of course baby mama three had to make a TikTok. Well, he brought this upon himself for everybody to be popping out woodworks or whatever. And then we find out that these two baby mamas, their babies were born eight days apart. So, uh... Do that math. Then we have baby mama four. And she doesn't make a video, but she does come forward on Twitter posting this. And of course, we can't forget baby mama number no, four. No, 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 of course. You can't video, skip past that. She on Twitter. Let's see what she said, all right? Juicy man LaFleur. All right. This SHIT is so hilarious because why is my baby daddy so embarrassing? That girl ain't mentioning you or nothing. And then you acting like you take care of all six kids, but definitely don't do shit for Kalani. Um, so I comment that, oh, you one of the baby mamas. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I was really just about to kind of give this man an out. <laughs> I was about to give this man an out, bro. I was like, we don't know this man. He could take care of all his kids. You know what I'm saying? But when the baby mamas come back to back, one, two, three, four, five, six, bro, you out here not living right. They, they not all lying on you, bro. You out here just laying and just rawing all these females, dropping off babies, bro. You know, taking care of them. And I just don't understand what type of life you think you about to live. Not a good one. It may feel good right now, but it ain't, nah, nah. Karma don't escape nobody this and of course we can't forget baby mama number five i came out here to reveal who baby mama number five was and that's me and then baby mama number six she didn't have to come forward because we already know well, that's more okay <laughs> Baby mama number five starts beefing with baby mama number six over who random man in Atlanta's main chick was and who the side chick was. He cheated on you with me. No, baby. And fans see this and they're going nuts. They love the drama. They're like making diagrams and shit. As y'all can see, our baby mama chart, a.k.a. motherboard, has already been completed. But the best part is when baby mama number six gets a phone call. I just got a phone call from baby mama I don't even know. First time hearing about her ever today. So Morgan finds out she's not actually baby mama number six. She's baby mama number seven. Because of... First of all, this is too much drama for me. I never, you'll never see me going on the internet to be proclaimed baby mama nothing, nothing, nothing all right? Nothing. I would never, I'm not doing it. I'm not about to put myself in that circle. Trust me, all right? Trust me. I have two. And, and, and my last one, that's my soulmate. We together like this. The first one, I don't care. The second one, I'll hit you with a brick over him. All right? But I am not about to get my ass online and be like, oh, I'm baby mama number, number one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And then the fifth one, girl, you why? Like, the fifth and the sixth, y'all two beefing over who was the main and who was the side when both of y'all was dumb is wild to me. Both of y'all got cheated on. Both of y'all got used. Both of y'all got hurt. Both of y'all got died to. But yeah, you want to. Be... Oh, yeah. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Um, yeah. Both of y'all are in the same situation. Y'all are grouped together by this one man. I wouldn't dare. They're like, well, who made my number three? Y'all wouldn't even know. Y'all wouldn't know. I'll be a ghost. They were like, you gotta skip baby mama number three. Matter of fact, you wouldn't even probably know I exist. For real. I'm not even about to come out. You wouldn't even know I was alive. Y'all would have had to come find me. Because I'm not about to do this with y'all. This shit is ghetto as hell. Another woman had come forward. So Morgan got demoted from six to seven. But I'm happy to report none of the baby mamas are beefing at the moment. They all seem to be chill with one another now. So, when, you know, that's probably best for the kids. And Random Man, well, he's still out there and he's still insisting he's not a deadbeat. Anyway, I wish them all the best. The butterfly kiss trophy. That is wild. That is wild. Listen, I don't like, I don't. In my younger days, you feel me? In my younger days, I, you know, I used to have drama. I used to have a little bit of drama. You know, not just because I just want you to do right. Either do right or don't come around at all. Either way, but pick pick one. 
Pick one. Either you're going to be here or you're not. That was a drama. But this, this, this right here, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. This is crazy. I hated the times I did have to get a little spunky on freaking social media. Um, but those things are behind me. But sir, I just want you to look. And first of all, invest in some condoms or, you know, a vasectomy or something like that. You need to stop. You need to stop, bro. You need to stop creating these kids you're not taking care of. Creating all these broken homes. Because even if you decide to be with one of them, you still got five six more homes that don't have you know their father in them so we need to stop we need accountability and we need to just stop i don't know why bro that's crazy like me and be lucky that's all you got out of these was a baby for real because it could have been tragic for you bro you out here doing a lot of raw sticking so i just y'all wrap it up wrap it up out here kids are not uh cheap okay I would know. We got six over here. Kids are not cheap. Wrap it up. Okay. Condoms is what? $3? $4? <laughs> Hell, I don't know. I don't know. What about doing that shit no more? But either way, do it. Do it. Do it. And, bro, go take care of your kids. You know, get together. Have a group meeting. Look, apologize for being the debut that you've been doing. And get into your kids' life, bro. And I promise you, your life will be so much better and easier and flow better for you. Your blessings will come because you're doing right by your kids. You feel me? So, Random man, Atlanta, you know, I hope, I hope you uh, come out of this better, my bro. And if I got an update, please put it in the comment section below because I would love to see how this turns out. But you guys, that concludes this video. If you have not already, hit that like and subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms. And my album, Sis, is out, y'all, on all platforms. Apple, Spotify, YouTube, wherever it's out. So y'all go ahead and listen to that for me. Let me know what y'all favorite song was on the album, all right? And until we meet again, you guys, we are out.